On this week's episode, you're gonna see me on a panel discussion at Hofstra University, talking about the challenges facing the Long Island real estate market. Long Island's a small part of territory that I cover, but it is my backyard. I was born and raised in Long Island. Uh, I travel far and wide today on behalf of national companies. So it was interesting to be able to add perspective on how the other parts of the US uh, are different, obviously, to the Long Island market. You're gonna see a bunch of tips, uh, or thoughts, I should say, that I have on that. Um, I think you'll get a lot out of it, and uh, hope you enjoy. It's okay. an evolution, okay. right? Because people, when the internet first came out, like, people thought the internet was a fad, right? Which is crazy today, but back when that was, I was in online advertising before I was in the real estate business, and before the dot-com burst and everything else, people did not realize, you know, what the internet was and, and how it would evolve and how it would change people's lives and their behavior, right? So that's all that's really happening. It's continuing to evolve, but it's, it's not replacing brick and mortar. It's just having its impact on it, basically. We have a national business, which affords me the ability to travel quite a bit, um, and and to mirror what Ed was saying earlier, you know, uh, the rest of the world is very different than Long Island, right? So um, it's a, it's a unique place that is a little insulated from you know what happens in a downturn elsewhere. But you'll also notice uh, when you go to a place that has you know sprawling land and beautiful master development, uh, it's mixed use, right? So uh, it's, it's a challenge to do here based on the high cost of land. Um, but you know, people are, are, are starting to really uh, evolve again and, and make it happen. You know, I think that, that the future is the urbanization of the suburbs. And you know, Long Island has always been behind the eight ball when it comes to, uh, when it comes to that, in my opinion. Um, you know, for many different reasons, I'm sure we'll go there at some point in this conversation. But you know, the, the transit-oriented mixed-use projects are, uh, are are you know the future, and a lot of a lot of developers that we work with and, and you know uh, speak with frequently uh, are looking to obviously maximize real estate. And in order to do that, you can't just think retail or office or residential. You have to be thoughtful about uh, combining them into, into mixed-use projects. Well, first off, I mean, the, the world is going to change, and there are going to be less people owning cars, right? There already are with Uber and Lyft and everything else. You know, younger people today don't see the need to have cars, right? And, and that's going to enable... Blumenfeld, Breslin, and Kimco to change their parking lots because parking ratios are uh, going to become very different when there's driverless cars or people are being dropped off by an Uber or, or a Lyft. They don't need to occupy that space. I think the biggest challenge for us is, is creating these environments that we're talking about for young people uh, that are graduating college and want to come back to Long Island, right? So. So when I talk about the urbanization of the suburbs, I'm simply talking about you know, mixed use projects that have entertainment components where young people actually wanna live, work, and play, and are able to you know, hop on a train, not have to own a car, go into Manhattan, go into Brooklyn, and, and enjoy their life, as opposed to sitting in a basement apartment in Huntington Village with a car miserable listening to you know what their friends are doing that live in Brooklyn or Manhattan so you know creating that environment for these young people to come back and and these businesses to relocate to Long Island because it's uh, an attractive place to live and operate you know is is really what I think we need to do collectively is there are a lot of options for young people 
that are a lot less expensive and quite honestly a little bit cooler because they're master planned right so you know i was in cincinnati ohio a few weeks ago and practically in the middle of nowhere but i'm in this project with this co-working space that's called fueled collective and it's basically soho house meets we work and it's super cool i mean <laughs> how do you compete with that stuff when you know the taxes in shopping centers in Nassau County are as much as the rent they're paying there. Maybe more. It, it's a major problem. I can't fix it, but I'd like to try it. Good job. Yeah. Hands up. Say, oh no. My people, they come for the bread. Big checks. Big bands. Cash out. If we shoot, we shoot for the head. Big guns. Pop pop. Man down. You talking like you was a fan. You talk. Too much. Some things are better left on set. Be quiet. Stop yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Stop yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Oh no, it's dreadful. <laughs> Rita. Rita? Yeah. Rita, nice to meet you. So I'm Jason Ciano. Oh, I own Jason. a commercial real estate brokerage company. Oh really? That's in New York and New Jersey. Yes. And you just asked me a wonderful question about, you're from Cape Town. Yes. And you asked me why there's so many people here. Exactly, because of the job situation, <laughs> is it? Uh, well, you know, I think it's, I, I think it is, there's a lot of opportunity in New York. Mm -hmm. um, but, but who would want to live there? Who would want to live here? That's a great question. In, no, in, in, in the city, I mean. In oh, the city, market, right. Yes. Well, it's and great. Where do you stay, Lodi? I'm born and raised here. My office is here. Oh, right. So, yeah, so How it's all I know. How are you finding the market now? The market is, it's interesting. Retail Very. is, <laughs> yeah, retail is being affected by the internet, right? Mm -hmm. That's uh, a big thing that really? we've been yes, talking yes. about. So, so. Internet. Internet. It's killing it, them. It's here to stay. It's oh, killing a lot of businesses would, and, and helping go, others. Be here for a time and go, but no. You thought it was going to be here. That's you thought right. it was a fad, right? <laughs> that it would go away? <laughs> no, it's it's here to stay. Very nice oh, meeting you. Enjoy your visit. Friend. Take care. Yeah. I think we just put, we tied it all together. <laughs> I was laddie. I don't believe that. Laddie. What the? You don't. What do you mean? You got to keep <laughs> rolling, bro. <laughs> Come on. You never know what type of magic you're going to get out of nowhere. Hey. I'm going back to Cape Town with her.